Hello, it's Adele and I have got a process video for you today using the TSK Eleanor, I think this one is called, um, and bits and pieces from the BPK Claire. So this is another wedding layout. I'm sorry if you're sick of seeing wedding layouts from me, but it's I'm on a roll at the moment. Um, and I decided to hand cut the title Mr. and Mrs. out of the papers from the collection. And I just roughly did them with um, some a pencil and then cut them out. Pretty simple. But if you're feeling a bit ooh, not sure about your handwriting, um, you could easily just print them off and use it, some um, printables as a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Adele? A template. That's what I'm looking for, a template. So this is a photo of Aaron and I on our one of our many beautiful vintage um, sofas that we own because we have a vintage wedding hire um, business as well so we don't just have a whole lot of sofas because we can but you know what I totally would I freaking love these sofas my favorite one we've got a red one mm, it's so nice but we got it after our wedding so fortunately didn't use that one but um, I had a lot of fun cutting these letters out it was quite simple once I got the right size and I'm just outlining them with my black sharpie pen which is my favorite pen to journal with and do anything scrappy related with and yep going to trace around every single one of those letters so this kit is not available anymore but the new kits have just arrived and I will be making some projects with those very soon I've got a super busy schedule because wedding season's picking up again we're pretty much I think I'm booked I've got a wedding booked every weekend until the end of November which is pretty cray cray seeing as though I also work five days a week so now I'll be working seven days a week yay team um but I'm lucky I've got school holidays in one week's time so I'll have a little break and then it will be back into craziness working seven days a week Yep. Yay. Um, this is not exciting watching all of this outlining. And I decided to put these, I think I put these up on foam just to give them a bit of oomph, a bit of something special. Oh, getting into the, oh yeah, that's right. I had a disaster with this pink ink dobber from my stash. It just doesn't dob. It's, um, I think I might need to clean the spongy bit, but these are really fun. I bought them and they're just great for making random polka dots and they dry really quickly because the paint's not thick. So that this color, whatever it's called, like a magenta color, perfectly matches the papers in this kit. So I couldn't resist doing it, but then it was too bright. So I'm pretty sure I bring in some vellum. I did do this layout a little while ago. So your guess is as good as mine. I'm pretty sure I do bring in vellum. Yeah, I do. Oh, I can see it over there. It's on my clipboard wall on my scrap room. So yes, I do bring in vellum in a moment. Drying, drying, drying. Does anyone else hate drying? I get so impatient and then I know it's wet, but I just can't resist putting my finger in it just to check if it's wet or not. It always is wet and I always smush it somewhere. So here using, I didn't want to use tape where you could see it. So I put tape under the vellum where the photo will go and then sticky to stick that down and that is from I think did that come in the kit or was that from my stash I think that was from my stash it was some um, confetti vellum I just needed something to soften up those polka dots and with this one I love when companies do their branding strips that go all the way across the bottom of the paper and not just like a little you know piddly little part of color because I like to use it all the way across because with this one I left the branding strip on and just used it as part of the pattern and it just went really well with those polka dots I'm in a bit of a polka dot mood at the moment I don't know if it's because we're coming into spring and polka dots are kind of happy and spring's a happy season but been liking the polka dots so I attached that on foam and did that off camera so you didn't have to sit through all of that foamy unstickingness. And these are from the Journey Collection by Crepe Paper. And I really liked these little 
arrowy. I guess they're arrows. Yeah, they're arrows. They're like a chevron arrow. And I picked ones that went with my color scheme, so not that teal one because I didn't want to bring in the teal. Even though there is a little bit in that floral paper, I just didn't want to add it. And then these thickers are beautiful. Um, I wish I have more packets of them. I might have to get some more from the scrapery shop because they're really cute. Added a couple of those white glittery foam hearts. You know, I do love a heart. And there's not much left of this, I don't think. Oh, a little button. And another little button, chipboardy piece. Oh, and brads. I do like a nice brad. They are like enamel, they're like enamel dots, but more, um, I find them thicker than enamel dots, but they worked well because it was like a little sprinkle of happiness in those two little corners. Usually I go for three clusters, but I thought with the background so busy that three would just be too many. So I just did one up on the left middle and then one down the bottom right. And I really went all out. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was the last, I think this was the last page that I made with this kit. Um, and I wanted to use those stars because I thought it looked, it echoed the stars in that vellum that I grabbed. Add some gold Heidi shine, because you know that's how I roll. And do I journal? Do I journal? Hmm. Not sure. They're from the Jen Hadfield collection. And you know me, I do love my gold. What's this say? <gasps> Mr. and Mrs. Awesome. Oh, that's such a clever title, Adele. Don't you love it when you when you look at a layout that you haven't looked at for a long, long time and then you're like, oh, myself, that was a brilliant idea. I do love that font in the, the S. I think I'm going to try and copy that font with the S, with the big swishy bit um, in my art journal because it's really pretty. So this layout is currently not in the album yet. It's on my wall. I put my recent favorite ones on my clipboard wall. If you haven't seen that, head over to my channel and you can see my clipboard wall and I'm done. So the foam really made this layout. I highly recommend having a go at a big bold title. Um, my only tip is to choose a short word. Um, so don't choose like, you know, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious or something ridiculous like that. Um, have you ever tried to spell that? It's really difficult. So yeah, let me know if you like my bold title and if you'd like to have a go yourself. I'd love to see um, links down below if you have a go and thanks for watching. Bye.